What's up, all that family? Welcome back to a new video. Today, we will talk about eight different red flags to look for to see if you're dealing with a scammer. Um, also, I have Amanda Slavetti. She is a scammer that she recently sent me a message on my Google Messenger. Uh, we will be trolling her today just to see how far they're willing to go to take my money. I'm mad like I'm some type of newbie. I just opened up my business. I'm new to this. Just to see what she has to say. I have a message from her right here. It says, good morning. My name is Lilia. I would like to know if you do what fabrication services and do you accept credit card for payment now it's already giving me a red flag because on the thing it says Amanda Slavitsi at the bottom she said her name is Lilia I believe that's how you say it red flag already but let's troll her and see how far we could go now I had opened up a welding company a couple of months ago and I dealt with my first scammer it's really really sad how people are willing to scam you on money one thing I do know is that whenever you freshly open up a welding company money is real tight and for somebody to be a low life to try to take your money away uh, so after today's video, hopefully you don't deal with these type of people and you know what to look for. So let's get this video started. Okay, so let's, let's talk about the first red flag to look for. Simple, the name. Uh, usually scammers tend to use the last name Smith. For example, Justin Smith, that has Peter Smith, uh, Amanda Smith. Uh, also, it's really hard to search them. If you try to search their name, you will not find anything. And it's so funny because usually they say that they own some type of business or whatever. And whenever you do search it, you don't find nothing online. Uh, I'm going to tell you a quick story of my first encounter with a scammer. His name was Justin Smith. Uh, he sent me an email he basically asked me the same thing uh, as Amanda did which was do I have a fabrication welding shop that, that he needs a custom gate built so he sent me the blueprint I spent all day getting quotes trying to give him the best quote I called different material places writing it down it really took me at least six hours to get this quote together at the end of the day I wasted my time it was fake if it wasn't for my wife I think I would have fell for it I'm sad that these people prey on new business owners you know I couldn't believe that I I had my first customer. Most of the guys who are just starting with the welding company, money is tight. You never did this before. It's a new business and it's not flowing like it's supposed to. So anytime somebody reaches out to do a job, you're willing to go for it, tackle it. You want to give them a good price. You just want to do a good job. And it's very sad they got people out here trying to prey on that. Okay, the second red flag to look for is that they are very, very direct. They know exactly what they want. They want it painted, they want aluminum, they want steel, they want it to be this big, this tall. They know exactly what they want. They're not here to play around. They, they from anchor bolts to paint, they know everything. Most, most of them have blueprints, but one thing I've noticed is that they all use the same thing, which is weird. That's why it makes me feel like, are these computers talking to you? That's why it's weird because uh, usually it's gonna be the gate, this guy they need built also I got a base uh, that they sent before and it has all the measurements and drawings most of, of the time the first message uh, like you've seen from Amanda and Chris is they ask you if you do uh, welding and fabricating and they ask you if you take all forms of payment so that's just the second thing to look for like I said uh, just kind of judge them like I said I do have customers who are pretty direct but whenever they really really specific to the bolts to the prime to everything just keep an eye open for the third red flag to look for is they never have have a cell phone you can never contact them you can't talk to them on the phone they always gonna give you some type of excuse matter of fact whenever Amanda responds I'm gonna ask her if I could call her but she's, she's gonna come up with some excuse usually they say they uh, gotta take a flight or they're about to go to work or some dumb excuse that they gonna come up with so uh, that's one thing to look for usually they communicate with you through email uh, lately they've been messaging me on Google because uh, I do have a website and whenever you do search water companies around your area I do tend to pop up so that's why it's easy for them just to reach me and it's hard for me to even get in contact with them only through uh, Google Messenger. Be on the lookout for that instantly fill a scammer ask for their phone number see if you can call them just to make sure you're on the same page like I said they're gonna most tend to deny it if they do deny it I, I think you'll have a scammer. The fourth red flag to look for is they're very easy going you can tell them oh I can only install it in the afternoon they're gonna tell you yes but everything that you say is gonna be yes the only time they're gonna tell you no is whenever you ask to call them or ask them if they have a different form of payment other than what they're trying to pay you which I'll get more into detail on how they try to uh, pay they they also tend to try to make it too easy for you like they try to send you extra money or they'll be like hey charge me a thousand dollars more uh, I think you're a great candidate for what, what I'm trying to do they're always real easy they seem like they're good people but they're not guys they're scammers I'm not saying that every customer that you come across that easy going is a scammer but just 
just pick the brain, ask them a few questions, you know, uh, see where they're at with it. I do some, I do have some customers who are real good with time and with the things that I have to say, and they're okay with it. But uh, like I said, some, sometimes these people who try to scam you just make it too easy for you. You can tell them whatever and they'll go for it as long as you take their form of pain. All right, guys, let's go into the fifth red flag to look for, which is honestly a very, very important one. It's one of the major, major red flags that they all tend to do. Say that their credit card can be used with Square, you can't use PayPal, you can't use Zelle or Cash App. Now, if you have somebody telling you that, it's a scammer, shut them down, say and don't ever, ever mess with them again. And it pisses me off because you're wasting your time, you're here trying to get the quote together, you're looking at it, spending half of your day getting this ready for somebody who's just playing with your time. I'm gonna give you the six red flag to look for. And I'm not too sure why you even go to the six red flag, but I'm gonna tell you because I went all the way to the six red flag. Uh, after they told me their credit card cannot go through Zelle and PayPal and all this, I was still trying to find a way to take their payment. And that's when my wife stopped me and said, hey, man, this looks fishy. I don't think this is true. They try to tell you uh, they're going to send you a digital check. So basically, they're going to write a check out. They're going to take a picture of it. They're going to send it to you through email, and they want you to scan the picture. Basically, like whenever you deposit another check with like a mobile deposit, you know, you can just take a picture with your phone, scan it, and the deposit hits your account. Don't do it, guys. Do not do it because they will take your money. The seventh red flag to look for is that uh, they tell you that they're going to send you extra money either for yourself, for your hard work, or for a driver, which was what, I think Justin Smith was the one who told me uh, some crap about his driver or whatever. He says, kindly send me an invoice for four grand. I want you to deduct your advance payment of $1,000 and kindly help me send the remaining 3,000 to the truck driver. Once you make that transaction, the bank is gonna notify you that, hey, that somebody's credit card will need the money back. And since you wired them $5,000 to their account, the money is gone. Okay guys, the eighth red flag to look for is just basically just look at the blueprint. The measurements do not add up. They're all off. They give you some crazy fractions that don't make sense. What makes me feel like honestly they're from a different country. I actually didn't notice that the blueprint was off until I sent it to a friend of mine for him to look over it. He was like, hey man, look at the blueprint. The measurements, it doesn't make sense on how they want this built. All right, guys, let's start with the trolling. So we have Amanda. Uh, I already told you what she said. So this is the message that I got so far. Hey, I'm sorry I missed your message. I'm new, I'm new into the business and I'm familiar with a lot of things. But yes, I have a wooden company. How can I help you? All right, guys, so Amanda responded. One thing to notice about them, these people respond really, really, really fast. She went ahead and uh, sent me a message. Let's see what she has to say. Thanks for getting back. I need a scaffold of 7.5 foot wide and four foot tall to hold a three by two water tank, 200 gallons aluminum or steel. I need a scaffold with a base to hold a water tank. I want it built, delivered, and installed. Hopefully if you can prime, paint, base plate for anchors, two by two for the four legs, and two by one for the braces and top support and steel plate on top. That's my plan. Hope if I send you a picture of what I need done, you will get me your estimate. You see how detailed they are? That's another thing, is they're always detailed. I'll go more into that, but uh, what should I say? What should I say? Uh, all right, so this is what I decided to send her. Yes, I can take care of that for you. I'm so excited. Business has been very slow for me. Thanks for considering me. I want to seem like I'm very excited. It's crazy, dude. Listen, uh, one thing I also noticed is that if you try to talk to them on the phone, they're going to give you some excuse that they're about to catch a flight or blah, blah, blah. A whole, bu whole bunch of mess. All right, so Amanda responded. Let's see what kind of bullshit she has to say. Oh, uh, so she sent me over the uh, blueprint and by the way I actually got that blueprint already from Peter Smith so as you can see the blueprints pretty detailed exactly on how they want the platform it's pretty specific how high how wide how they want it everything and obviously once again she mentions is that she wants it to be prime painted everything and she uh, they also will send you an image of the scaffold or the base that they want built I'm not understanding why they use the same pictures uh, what should I say to her let's see I'm gonna ask her if I could call her I'm be like, hey, you think I could call you? I have a few questions. See what she has to say. So this is what I decided to do, tell her. I can do that for you. Can I call you? I have a question. I'm sorry I could not pick your calls. Actually, I'm in the hospital at the moment, just recuperating from the second trauma from the uh, urethra. Feel, feel free to reach, feel free to reach me, her or via text. 
message if you don't mind and they give you some type of fake uh, phone text or whatever and she says please note only text okay guys uh, I want to say something ridiculous to her uh, I'm not too sure so I can see that they're willing to go whatever bullshit you tell them especially when it comes to the quote the more money they, you offer them the better it's gonna be for them uh, let's see Okay, so this is why I got, I got, oh my God, I hope you recover. I did the quote, it will be 12,000, 7,000 for fabrication and 5,000 for transportation and paint. So let's just see what she has to say about this ridiculous number because I actually already did the quote before when I fell into this trap and I think material, if I'm not mistaken, it was like 1,500 or so or 1,000 because they're, they're only asking for square tubing. I also said I could use standard gauge material if you wanted to be cheaper. And this is what she responded. I got your quote, your total estimate it sounds good to me actually i'm presently in the hospital i walk through a wheelchair this is why i've been texting you because my specialist doesn't want me to talk or move so i will need a little favor from you so now she's asking for a little favor i'm gonna, I'm gonna say what she needs a little favor most likely i'm guessing that she's gonna ask me she's gonna say she's gonna send an extra deposit usually they want to send you extra money or they want to send you a check. This is the little favor that she needs. I just bought the house and the house keys is with the handyman that is working on in the house. He will open the gate for you, but I need you to help me coordinate his payment alongside yours because he doesn't have the facility to accept credit card. I'm gonna ask her how much and I'll tell her, yes, I'll do it, but I'll have to add a thousand dollars for the taxes that I'll have to pay on it. Some crazy stuff. So, okay, so this is why I responded back. Okay, I can do that, but I will have to add a fee of $1,000 on top of the taxes I have to pay. How much money do I give them? The favor is that I will text you my credit card info and you run it manually or you send me an invoice of 11300 And once you have the fund available in your account, you will deduct 6000 as your deposit to get materials and you will help me send 5000 to the handyman, which I will forward you his info once funds is in your account. And you will take out 300 as your own as a tip for helping me. Hopefully you understand, will you help me? What they wanna do is they're using somebody else's credit card. So she wants me to keep 6,000 for me and she wants me to send $5,000 to wire it to her handyman. Most likely it's her or him, whatever. And from there, that's where the money get lost. But she says she'll give me a tip of $300 and would be like, I will only do it if my tip turns out to be 800. Okay, so she agreed. She said she'll take the $800 tip. Think about these people, anything that you say, they're just gonna tell you yes, 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 and yes. Uh, I'm about to be like, uh, so they accepted what I said about, I want an $800 tip from doing all these transactions for you. Uh, she just asked me, what is the credit card info needed for the payment? What is the name of the credit card merchant you are using to run my card? Uh, usually they say that you can't take Square, so I'm, I'm gonna tell her Square. Okay, so now she responded. For like a month now, I have been having issues with Square, PayPal, merchant, do you have another credit card, card merchant you can use? So I told her, no I don't, is there a different method to use? Most likely she won't say, uh, I'm gonna pay with a check. That's what the last guy told me, let's just see if, if I'm correct about uh, her saying that. Okay, so we've been going back and forth. She said that she's gonna mail me a check, uh, which I was accurate. That's the next method is to do the whole check thing. I said, I'll come get the check so you don't have to mail it so I can cash it tomorrow or even today. She said, it's going to me mail out first thing tomorrow morning. I think you're going to get it the next day. So now she's talking about mailing it. I'm gonna be like, so not just told her, if you could write checks, why didn't your handyman accept that? Respondent basically said her handyman only accepts cash. Once again, you know, they all will always have an excuse after the excuse after the excuse. So I'm gonna just wrap it up. I'm gonna go off on it, whatever it is. But I hope you learned something new today, guys. Hope you don't deal with these type of scammers and you don't fall for it. But most of all, don't waste your time, man, because that's what drives me the most, that's what pisses me off the most, is knowing that I wasted my time on this. That's the only thing that really pisses me off, man. Like I said, I spend the whole day trying to get a quote together. But if you get that gate or that platform, matter of fact, I did a little video on my Instagram showing uh, my Instagram followers what I have going on. And I actually had a guy text me saying that he tried to get him too, but it's crazy, man. But man, hope you don't fall for this, guys. Hope you, I hope I taught you something new today. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget, guys, copy one of these blue colors if I see shirts. I'll have the link in the comments below. Support a small business. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.